We're asked to find the value that completes the square, then write the trinomial as a perfect square. We learned from our lesson that if we have a trinomial with a leading coefficient of one that's a perfect square, it must fit the form shown here, where the constant term c must be equal to b divided by 2 squared, where b is equal to the coefficient of the degree 1, or linear term, or in this case, the coefficient of x. So notice in our first example, the coefficient of x is positive 3 halves, so we'd have b equals 3 halves. And now this time, because b is equal to a fraction, instead of using the formula c equals b divided by 2 squared, instead of dividing by 2, let's multiply by 1 half and write this as 1 half times b squared, which is equivalent, but again, when b is a fraction, this form of the formula for c is going to be more helpful. So notice here, we would have c equals, we'd have 1 half times 3 halves squared, which would give us 3 fourths squared, which is equal to 9 sixteenths, which means if we add 9 sixteenths, we now have a perfect square trinomial, which we now want to factor, which will factor into two binomial factors that are equal to each other. We'll begin with the first terms in the binomial factors, which must be the factors of x squared, which are x and x. Now typically we ask, what are the factors of 9 sixteenths that add to 3 halves, or the factors of the constant term that add to the coefficient of x? But that's not an easy question here because of the fractions, and that's why it's important to show the work I've shown here to determine the value of c. Notice how we squared 3 fourths to obtain 9 sixteenths, which means the factor of 3 fourths is going to be the constant term in each binomial factor. One factor is going to be x plus 3 fourths, and the second factor is also going to be x plus 3 fourths, which means we can write this as the quantity x plus 3 fourths squared Let's also verify this is factored properly by verifying that 3 fourths times 3 fourths does equal c. We'll notice how this does equal 9 sixteenths, which is c. Let's also verify that 3 fourths plus 3 fourths does equal b, which is 3 halves. Notice how here we have 6 fourths, which does equal 3 halves, verifying this is factored properly. And now for our second example, notice how the coefficient of the degree 1 term, or the coefficient of x, is negative 4 fifths. So b equals negative 4 fifths. And that means the constant c must be equal to 1 half times negative 4 fifths squared in order to form a perfect square trinomial. Notice how we can simplify here before multiplying. There's one factor of 2 and 2 and two factors of two and negative four. So we have, looks like negative two-fifths squared, which would equal four twenty-fifths. So by adding four twenty-fifths, we now have a perfect square trinomial, which we want to write as a perfect square, meaning we want to factor. So we would have x and x, and again, we typically ask, what are the factors of 4 25ths that add to negative 4 fifths? Not an easy question. But again, looking at our work below, notice how we squared negative 2 fifths to obtain 4 25ths, which means our binomial factors are x minus 2 fifths and x minus 2 fifths, which is the quantity x minus 2 fifths squared. And again, just to verify this is factored properly, let's verify that negative 2 fifths times negative 2 fifths is equal to c, or 4 twenty fifths. And notice how this checks, which again should be obvious because we squared negative 2 fifths to obtain 4 twenty fifths. But let's also verify that negative 2 fifths plus negative 2 fifths is equal to b, or negative 4 fifths, and notice how it is equal to negative 4 fifths. So this is factored properly. 
And again, just to make sure we understand what's happening here, we were asked to determine the value that completes the square. So here the value was 9 sixteenths that completed the square. And here the value was 4 25ths. And then as a perfect square, our first example was the quantity x plus 3 fourths squared. And our second example was the quantity x minus 2 fifths squared. Okay, I hope you found these examples helpful.